What's it? All right. All right. That's real, man. Real yeah, nigga. Real nigga that. H calling this bitch. You real know what I'm nigga, saying? Man. You got some niggas out there. It's the ones that thirst for knowledge. They shall drink from the living waters and their souls shall be quenched, man. Y'all boys better go look that shit up and stop playing out you. GMR and STV, man. Come on in this motherfucker. Come on in this motherfucker. GMR and STV. <laughs> Hello, what up? Hey, listen, I just want to make a comment. Um, I was listening to what you were saying about us having to uh, co-mingle and be a part of, you know, what they're doing on, in the other cultures. Well, I think it's just time for us to stop co-mingling and just going on back to our roots. There's nothing wrong with us being different and being apart from them. Um, the reality is they want to be us. So... Um, we need to start standing up for our background and for our roots and stop falling into their tradition and stop um, co-mingling into what they're doing, especially when we know that it's wrong. We don't have to do that to keep their jobs and to, you know, be a part of their culture. We have our own culture, and it's time we started to bring that back and show our children it's okay that's to be real. leaders and not followers that's and stand up to what we believe. That's real. That's, that's right. really now you you're right now because that's the whole objective we 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 looking to establish an infrastructure internally our own. Well, I think H was coming from the fact that you know as far as like we in the Western society, we in the Babylon society, so we are partaking far as in the system just to do what we have to do, just to make you know the, the running of the like system. We know the day to day life. Stuff, People yeah. have jobs, they have a the family, they have the children in the school, but we definitely know, like I said, we have to deal with the people out there, but we have to know who we are. Certain lines we can't cross. There's certain things we just can't be willing to give up. We're gonna have to deal with other nations, other people, but we gotta be, we gotta have our structure within ourselves, you know. So that's where he was coming from, the angle of that. But you definitely right, because it's all about being independent and, and getting our own custom and our heritage and digging that up and following our own tradition. And you know, I really have to say, I appreciate you going back and, and um, bringing up where those different cultures come from because I think that is important to know because we are here celebrating these different holidays and doing different things and we don't even know where these things come from so I appreciate you putting that education out there for people to see and hear that you know these things come from somewhere and we need to educate ourselves to find out where they're coming from yes ma'am yeah. that's so true man we gotta go to everything if you wanna know I say to um, how to cure and know what's going on you go to the root the source of everything and make a judgment from there and I appreciate you letting me comment. Oh, yeah, well, what's, what's your name? Oh, my name is Melanie. You probably don't remember me, but I was there. I did Charlene's show. You did what now? She did Charlene's show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember, I remember. Yeah, you and you, my daughter was uh, in the back with you. And I remember. Very yes, impressed with the knowledge that you were dropping, so. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Give thanks for the call. Give thanks for the love. Anytime. All right, now. Bye, Your Highness. This is Cornelia. All right, what's up, Cordelia? How are you? I'm good. What's going on with you? Oh, good so far. I'm just listening to the origins. I really appreciate that because I really didn't know all that. I was, like, really impressed when you was dropping all that knowledge down. I'm like, wow. <laughs> yeah, man, I appreciate that y'all locking in, y'all calling in. I, I give thanks so much, man. It's a straight love. All right. Yeah, all right, we're going to get into it. All right, bye. All right, y'all stay right. locked in. All right, then. Uh, yeah. Hey, you got to get about things, right there, It's man. about education first, man. Because if your ass ain't educated, the people that is educated go take advantage of your ass. Run all over your ass. Leave your ass back there. Somewhere. I don't blame them. I can't get mad at them taking advantage of your duck ass. Step out there and start <laughs> to learn, man. It's time to stop playing out here. We can give an excuse to the children because they don't know no better. But if your ass is grown, step it up and stop playing. GMR and STV, what it do? What up, man? It's Khalid. <laughs> 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 hey, man. Hey, man. These crackers do some sick shit, man. I ain't even know about that shit with y'all. Well, I'm telling <laughs> you, boy. If a motherfucker killing animals. And what he was doing with them? Yeah, man. He, he killing goats and dogs. Stripping the hide off the goats, dipping the shit in blood, running through the streets, and just slapping the broads with it. <laughs> Talk about his purifying. Boy, I don't know about that. Let me tell you something real quick. You know how they say back in Africa, we was like, we were like monkeys, swinging from trees, uncivilized? Yeah. yeah. That was the uncivilized shit they was doing. Yeah, that was, exactly. that's really them. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's how ironic you going to call us, but that's some uncivilized shit. 
I know, man. That, that, that don't make no sense. That's some demonic. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that's some man. that's some devil ass shit, man. A lot of the traditions and people don't know is a lot of this shit just keep coming from the ancient Roman cry because that's why they talk about ancient Rome and Babylon giving their power to the beast, which is the daughter of Babylon, the daughter of Rome in the United States. Uh, except for that, that's why they always glorify Rome on the History Channel, Discovery Channel. You see Rome all on that bitch, all the fucking calendars, all the days, everything. Every I, fucking thing. How they build their Colosseum, they they Roman jurisdiction, the Jewish, the the, the, the courthouse, every. Everything designed off Roman design, so it's all in some Roman pagan ass shit. Yeah, man, they'll say you some monkey, bones in our nose in Africa, but they are doing some sick shit back in Rome. So, man, so they, those crack some hypocrites, man. Oh, yeah, man, most that's, definitely. Yeah, that's right. That's why I tell niggas, man, it's your choice if you want to follow the motherfucker. But see, the crackers got their culture. That's them. It's for it's for everybody to have their own shit and know that know themselves. And we following out to some other shit. We know what I'm saying? Niggas is doing that shit because basically the crackers told them to do it. If you want to do it, you want to be a duck ass slave ass nigga your whole life, you can go ahead and keep Feel taking free. order. free. But to all the real kings and queens out there that want to liberate themselves from under that wicked ass jurisdiction, you got to seek thyself, man, because we come from natural. Righteous, real GMRNS. I know, man. All, all you house niggas, man, collect your people, man. Stop that damn bunk dance and shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> that shit don't make no sense, dog. Straight up, though, dog. Straight up, dog. All right. All right, Khalil. Give thanks for the call, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shit, man. He right, man. They motherfuckers are some hypocrites, man. They want to say, you know, niggas doing this and doing that, but they the ones really doing the shit. Yeah, they man. And all the, and all the, if you look at this, just the facts. This ain't no yeah. fucking beliefs. This ain't no nigga just trying to bring us and spray some shit. Nah. This shit start off some Roman pagan ass cracker shit, man. And niggas, boy, that, you know what I'm saying? If you got some shit called Cupid. Oh, Lord. Cupid. Now, they, allegedly, he's a, 3,000 year old baby, and uh, they say the name Cupid, it comes from a Latin verb, cupere. Now, that means uh, to desire. Cupid was the son of Venus, that was a Roman goddess, <laughs> that was a Roman goddess of beauty and love. Also, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They, they, they see. Oh, let me. That's a case. Start, that, start over again. That's a case. They have to start this over again right here. Get that straight <laughs> shot. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Like I was saying, <laughs> Cupid. You know what I'm saying? Comes from a Latin verb, cupere, meaning to desire. Cupid was the son of Venus. She was a Roman goddess of beauty and love, also known as Eros in ancient Greece. Uh, he was the son of, of Aphrodite. Okay. What? Um, Aphrodite. Oh, oh. Uh, hey, right, hey, right, hey. Right. Say Aphrodite. Okay. Might have been a Maphrodite. I okay. don't know. Okay. Now, uh, according to myth, he was responsible for impregnating numerous goddesses and mortals. Cupid was a childlike archer. Mythology describes Cupid as having both a cruel and happy personality. He would use his invisible arrows tipped with gold to strike unsuspecting men and women, causing them to fall madly in love. That's why you have a niggas like, ah, oh, sh shit, girl, I love you. I, I, I don't even know why, though. Because <laughs> they're just madly in love with the shit. Now, Cupid. he did this for their, uh, ben he did this not for their benefit, but to drive them crazy with intense passion to make their lives miserable and laugh at the results. Now, you got oh, motherfuckers man. that's riding this motherfucker like, Cupid.